three, two. Hey guys, this is Zach Bame here from the Zach Bame Collection with a look at my music wall and my new turntable uh, and music setup I got going. Um, typically I do movies and stuff, but today we're going to be looking at music. So, this is my new turntable. It's a uh, Techniques, Techniques Quartz Direct Drive Automatic Turntable System SL. Q200 the direct drive if you do not know means that it does not run on a belt it's like a magnet in underneath the platter that uh keeps it moving when you turn it on uh, it's semi-automatic uh, meaning that you can hit the stop and the uh, needle and arm will come back to the place where it goes um, sorry about that glare there. there's no way to light it up this JVC receiver, that's pretty good. The uh, sound it puts out is awesome. Unfortunately, I only have one speaker because the other one that I have does not work. So one for now. It's all kinds of settings, and uh, the radio does not work. But that's fine because I have a radio in another part of the room. So that's my turntable. Um, it's pretty nice. I love it so far. Just set it up yesterday. Love it. I uh, got the Harvest Records. Um, slip mat on it that I got on their 8th um, year anniversary sale for being one of the first 20 people there. Love this slip mat and logo. It's just awesome. Um, got the Third Man Records uh, 45 adapter. Picked that up from Third Man Records itself. Um, so I love that. And got a rep North Carolina record labels with the Merge Records. Uh, I get these from Harvest Records for free all the time. Uh, I think they probably think I'm like a compulsive stealer taking those. I mean, even though they're free, I get one like every time. But I use them for tons of stuff. I have one on my computer, one here, one on uh, my portable record player, and uh, one on my car. So I always use them. Um, we'll look over here. This is the White Stripes 45. Uh, carrying case that I picked up from Third Man Records which is just awesome uh, the design is amazing I love it so much it's one of my most prized possessions um, thing on the side somewhere it says your turntable is not dead um, anyways so we'll open it up all my 45s tons of ton of them um, inside I don't, let me see if I can get some light on that. Inside it says, uh, no one knows how to um, talk to children. Um, just really nice design, nice thick. Uh, it's cardboard, it's some, it's some sort of, I don't know. Anyways, it, it's just a great, I love it, it's one of my most prized possessions. So we got that. Um, we'll look at my wall, I'm never really talking much about records I just set up this wall what with this new turntable the way I wanted it to be set up we'll try to try to get the most light on it so I'll go back you see my DVDs over there my uh, records up there that um I don't listen to as much those are older records I do listen to them but not quite as much as the ones down there those are my those are basically all new um, records, less than 10 years old. So this is my music wall. I'll start by the top. The Bright Eyes, I'm White and Wake It's Morning, insert that came with the album. Uh, I drew that border around it because they gave me an extra one in the thing, like, accidentally. So I drew that border around it so it stuck out more. Bright Eyes, the People Key, the People's Key um, poster. Love that one. Uh, on the other side, it's got the complete red. It's all red with the flames. Tallest man on earth. There's no leaving now. Um, nice thick poster. Got it for free. Most of these, quite a few of these, I got for free. Um, all all the top three I got for free. Anyways, um, really good album. He, the new. It's for the newest album. Um, there's no leaving now. Really great album. In the middle here, we have Harvest Records. 8th year anniversary sale poster. Um, this was uh, the 11th of this month. So I got this poster. Um, 
really nice poster. Whoever has been, I, I'm assuming this is the same person who designed the poster, and for all my viewers out there who, who don't live in Asheville, you won't know the poster, but um, who designed the Record Store Day poster for Harvest Records, it looks like the same artist, and whoever that is just does a fantastic job. Um, anyways, uh, these I got at, Har at uh, excuse me, at Third Man Records, Jack White's record label, for those who don't know, for spending over, um, a hundred dollars. These are screen prints by the artist who does all of Jack White's, uh, screen printed posters. He typically has individual ones for each specific show for all of the bands on his label, really, like Karen Ilson and, um, himself and the White Stripes and whatnot. Um, which leads me to this. This is my Jack White concert tour poster. This is also one of my most prized possessions. Um, it was like $50, I believe, like maybe 30 maybe I'm lying. It is numbered, but it's numbered, the number is um, covered up. Rob Jones, Rob Jones, that's the name of the guy who did these. Um, so, uh, but this is a specific poster, screen printed, uh, it, but it is specific, suspe you know what I'm trying to say, to the Orange Peel itself, the Orange Peel Nashville. And it's not like the design is the same for every one of his shows and he just changes that. It's it's, a, it's, its own poster. Um, so that's very cool. All the other posters look completely different. And that concert was with the Alabama Shakes, probably one of the best concerts I've ever been to. Uh, down here there's like this Native American thing. Um, I've tried to figure out what it means, but kind of difficult to. Um, so that's that. Uh, we'll come over here to another very prized possession. Uh, this is my cursive uh, tour poster. Um, I love this thing. It's signed by every member of the band who was playing that night. There's Tim Cashers. My favorite band is cursive, so love that. It's got all the tour dates. As Tim Casher said, it's very metal the poster is, but he seemed kind of not to like it, but I really love it. Being a person who does pen and ink work, I mean, this is pen, and uh, it, it just looks great. Super detailed, super fine lines. Really awesome poster. Okay. Next. Anyways, um, yeah, so these are from School Kids Records in, uh, at, over at NC State. Uh, I got one each time that I've been there. Uh, cool record store, a little overpriced, but not too bad. Um, this is a signed CD. The CD got all scratched up, so I thought I'd just stick it up here. Of uh, Morning Teleportation, which made one of my favorite albums of, I believe, 2010. It might have been early 2011, but I'm pretty positive it was 2010. They opened for Modest Mouse, and um, they were just... They were probably one of the best, oh, I'm running out of breath, I'm talking so much. They were probably one of the best openers I've ever seen, um, ever. Just so good. And their album is just amazing. This right here is Tim Kasher from Cursive. This was his set list from the show I went to. Another one of the best shows I've ever been to. This was his, you can see there, there's a stain from the drink he had. Um, if you open it up, it smells like alcohol. Kind of cool. Um, so this is the set list from that show great show. Uh, show up and play the hits uh, little mini poster. I did go see that movie on the one day that it showed July uh, 18th for uh, Shut Up and Play the Hits, the final days of LCD sound system. Uh, really, really, really good. Good uh, documentary and concert film. Um, cool art that came with the Record Store Day uh, exclusive Sprawl 2 uh, ready to start Arcade Fire remix thing. The remixes are awesome. Anyways, uh, Camp Gibino, this came with the record. Uh, this is the Bonnaroo um, sticker that my friend Monica gave me that she went there. She gets me a sticker, but I haven't put it on anything because I kind of want to save it. Um, so it's not stuck up there, but it is. It, Sticky Tack is holding it up. Um, real quick, show that. That was the bag when I went to Third Man Records, but I haven't hung up like a poster because it's just awesome. Also, my signed She and Him record, signed by Zoe Deschanel herself. Uh, so, love She and Him, love that album. Kind of stinks that I can't play it because it's in there and I really don't want to ruin it. Um, but yeah. 
So then we'll go to these. These are the inserts to Kanye West's record, um, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, which I have right here. Um, obviously, you can tell it's not the typical cover because one of them is right there because they give you these nice, thick poster quality artwork. So, there's that one. That one. This one's my favorite. The inappropriate one. And then that one. Love it. Love them. Glad I hung this up. It also came with a big poster of that, but it has the lyrics on it. I don't want to damage it, so we'll get in there. This is a girl's. It has the date on it. September 15th of the show that I went to where I got to meet Christopher Owens. Really nice guy. I talked to him for about 10 minutes. Awesome guy. Moke vest. Arm band from last year. Can't wait for this year's. Um, so anyways, oh, uh, and we'll show you this, the Moogfest poster from last year's. Wish I had enough room to put it over here, but whatever. Um, so, rest of the room. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, thank you so much for subscribing if you're subscribed, and liking if you like this video, please like, please subscribe. Uh, it'd be awesome. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. And we'll end this with a song. Just to show you how it works. Put that cue in there. Yeah. Pretty good. I have to yell to hear it, so. I never knew sound like that could come out of a record player. It's just amazing to me now that I got all this hooked up. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please rate, please subscribe. I love all you guys that watch. Um, thank you so much. Bye bye.